This is Current Affairs Prime Time and you're watching the Current Affairs Show and I am Kush. Let's see the first headline. Encouraging firms to enroll their workers under schemes run by Retirement Fund Body Employees Provident Fund Organization EPFO, a three-month campaign has been launched beginning from 1st January 2017. The name of the campaign is Enrollment and Establishment Coverage Campaign 2017. The benefits would be under the Pradhan Mantri Rojgaat Prosahan Yojana, that is PMRPY, and the Pradhan Mantri Paridhan Rojgaat Prosahan Yojana, or PMPRPY. Next headline, David R. Simile has been appointed as the chairman of the Union Public Service Commission. Now, this particular commission is the India's central agency authorized to conduct the civil service examination and also the engineering service examination. Uh, he has replaced Ms. Alka Surohi. Next headline. Housing, auto and corporate loans are all set to become cheaper with half a dozen PSU and private banks steeply reducing benchmark lending rates by up to 1.4% after spurt in deposits following demortization. Well, base rate is the minimum rate below which any bank cannot lend and now the base rate system follows the MCLR that is marginal cost of funds based lending rate. Next headline. Maharashtra government has declared to ban the use of purse sea nets for fishing across Maharashtra to safeguard the fingerlings of fish species. Now, uh, the purse sea nets do not allow even small fishes to escape, which is affecting the overall population of fishes and also responsible for a fall in fish catch. Next headline. Maharashtra government will organize a Digi Dhan Mela in Mumbai. In this particular Mela, two Yojanas, the Lucky Grahak Yojana and the Digi Dhan Vyapar Yojana would be promoted. Uh, under these Yojanas and especially under the Lucky Grahak Yojana, the winners would be selected on a weekly or a daily basis and in the Digi Dhan Vyapar Yojana, it would be done on a weekly basis. The schemes will be implemented and are implemented under the National Payments Corporation of India or NPCI. Next headline. The 13th edition of Nepal's five-day Chitwan Elephant Festival kicked off in Kathmandu with the participation of over 50 elephants. Now, this event has been organized by Regional Hotel Association of Chitwan. Next headline. Finland has become the first country in the world to pay a basic income to randomly pick citizens on a, on a national level in an, in an aim at dismissing poverty. It's an interesting take. According to this particular headline, the basic tax-free income would be around 560 euros or around 586 dollars. This is a good innovative step. Next headline. The UK's ambassador to the European Union, Ivan Rogers, resigned from his post. He was dissatisfied with the proceedings. Moving forward, Karnataka Minister for Cooperation and Sugar H.S. Mahadeva Prasad passed away in Bangalore due to cardiac arrest. He was 58 years old. Moving forward, China's table tennis Olympic champion Li Xiaoxia, Li Xiaoxia has announced her retirement. She was a former world champion. Also, she was one of the members of the gold medal winning team of China. Now let's have a recap of all the headlines. EPFO launches campaign to enroll more workers. David R. Simila appointed new UPSC chairman. Banks cut base rates. Home corporate loans to be cheaper. Maharashtra government bans use of purse sign nets for fishing. Maharashtra government to organize Digi Dhan Mela in Mumbai. Nepal host elephant festival in Chetavan to boost, to boost tourism. Moving forward. Finland, first country to introduce basic income for unemployed. Britain ambassador to Europe Union quits. Karnataka minister H.S. Mahadeva Prasad dies at 58. And table tennis Olympic champion Lee Siosia announced his retirement. Now let's have a review of the quiz. Name the three-month campaign which is launched by EPFO to enroll more workers and set rupees one fine for late registration recently. And the answer is... It is Enrollment and Establishment Coverage Campaign 2017. Next question. Who has been appointed as the new chairman of UPSC? And the answer is, the answer is David R. Similar. Next question. Name the state which has banned the use of per se nets for fishing. And the answer, the answer is Maharashtra government. Next question. Name the state which has inaugurated Digi Dhan Mela recently. And the answer is, it is Maharashtra. Moving forward. Name the city which has hosted the Elephant Festival recently and the answer is it is the capital of Nepal that is Kathmandu. Moving forward. 
Which country has become the first country in the world to pay a basic income to randomly pick citizens on a national level? And the answer is, it is Finland. Moving forward, the answers and the winners, Ant Pradesh, Rishi Kapoor, Bhim and Singapore, and the winners are uh, Sharadul Borkar, Ajay Kangulkar, and Ashish Khandelwal. Now let's have the cat quiz. Question number one, Akhilesh Yadav is the present chief minister of which state? Next question. Who has emerged as the India Sportsperson of the Year 2016 in a poll conducted by India Today? Next question. Who has been appointed as the new Prime Minister of Romania? Next question. Name the chess player who has won all three gold medals in Western Asia Youth Chess Championship 2016. So these are the questions of this particular show. We hope you get all the maximum headlines in the minimum time possible with this particular intention. This is Kush signing off from the Current Affairs show. Thank you so much.